8 Fastest Depreciating Luxury Cars Almost every new car depreciates, but some shed value faster than others. As you'd expect, the slowest depreciators are the cars in strong demand, with desirable badges and good reputations for reliability, quality, and safety. Depreciation is often overlooked when people are deciding what car to buy. But while other running costs such as fuel consumption, servicing, and road tax are important, they rarely add up to as much as the amount a new car loses in the value the first few years of ownership. Forget miles per gallon or insurance, the biggest cost of running a car is depreciation, otherwise known as the difference between a new on-the-road price and the figure achievable when selling a car to its next owner. But waiting for some depreciation isn't all that bad news. Because if you're buying used and choose carefully, it can help you to get a lot of car for your money. So here they are, the disastrous depreciators that experts say you shouldn't touch with a barge pole if you want to hang on to your cash. Number 8. Mercedes-Benz GLE 500 The Mercedes-Benz GLE 500 midsize luxury SUV takes the second spot for the luxury car that depreciates the most after five years of ownership. With a depreciation rate of 65%, it has some positive attributes, including an attractive design and a luxurious interior. But a major drawback is its significant drop in value. As detailed by Hot Cars, if you bought a new GLE 500 for around $83,000 and take up an average of 12,000 miles annually, after five years, the luxury SUV would be worth less than $30,000. However, if you buy a two-year-old GLE 500, you may save up to $30,000. Number 7. BMW i3 With an average depreciation rate of 68%, the all-new electric BMW i3 compact hatchback takes the top spot as the luxury car that depreciates the most after five years of ownership. Launched in 2013, the i3 was BMW's first mass-produced zero-emissions vehicle. Since then, the German automaker sold around 250,000 units of the i3 worldwide. However, BMW now offers other electric vehicles, including the i4 and iX. These BMW EVs provide better performance and driving range, which lessens the demand for the i3. The estimated depreciation rate of the i3 after 10 years is even more extreme, with it losing 81% of its value. Number 6. Land Rover Range Rover Another luxury SUV that loses much of its value after five years of ownership is the Land Rover Range Rover. With a depreciation rate of 63%, much of this depreciation is tied to the cost of repairs and maintenance for the Range Rover. While the Range Rover is a highly capable SUV and offers a plethora of luxury amenities, the drop in value is a big drawback. If you want to save some money, you might be better off buying a used two-year-old Range Rover. Luxury cars are very appealing. However, along with the high original price, they tend to depreciate considerably. With models such as the BMW i3, Mercedes-Benz GLE 500, and the Land Rover Range Rover, the significant drop in value after five years of ownership means that you might not get as much money as you hoped if you decided to sell it. Number 5. Audi A6 The 2015 Audi A6 combined high levels of luxury with high performance. It had a range of powerful engines and aggressively sporty handling, rather than a cushioned ride. The interior was well-designed and included leather upholstery, wood and metal accents, and heated front seats were standard. Audi's MMI infotainment system was standard, with a central control knob rather than a touchscreen, which has a steeper learning curve. Its average cost of ownership over five years was only slightly higher than other luxury mid-size cars. The 2015 A6 had a starting price of $44,800, with the top trim starting at $75,500. Like other sedans on this list, the A6 takes a big hit for being an unpopular body style, as well as a luxury car. Its average value over five years falls by 69%. Number 4. The Porsche 911 Not only is the Porsche 911 the best-selling supercar ever, but it's also one of the easiest to live with. That's because it's very reliable by supercar standards, it's surprisingly practical for both passengers and luggage, and it's great to drive in all conditions too. This does come at a cost, though. 911s don't depreciate as rapidly as many other supercars do. Still, it's possible to get a 96 era 911 for under 15K, which is about as cheap as a working supercar will get. It won't be as fast as a newer model, but it's still a brilliant piece of engineering that's going to be amazingly fun to drive every day. The best part about the 911 is that it's been in production so long that there are countless other generations of cars to choose from, too. There's probably a 911 for every taste and budget making it one of the most versatile supercars out there. 
Number 3. BMW 5 Series The 2015 BMW 5 Series has a lot going for it, like good safety and predicted reliability scores. There were six trims available when new, each with a different powertrain, including a diesel engine and a hybrid system. Both rows of seating are roomy and supportive, and the interior design is refined enough to not seem dated. A 10.2-inch display with an iDrive infotainment system is standard, including a touchpad that can detect handwriting. But as with so many luxury sedans, its cost of ownership over five years was quite high. The 5 Series had a starting price of $49,950 in 2015, with top trims starting just under six figures. A drop of more than 70% in value over five years means an average drop of about $47,000 for this luxury midsize car. Number 2. BMW 7 Series Until the introduction of the 8 Series in 2019, the 7 Series was the brand's flagship super-luxury car. The interior design holds up today, with standard leather upholstery, heated front seats, and loads of room for passengers, especially in the long wheelbase style. Six powertrains were available, as in the 5 Series, including a hybrid and diesel. The cost of ownership over five years is high for the 7 Series, but it's in line with others in this rare and expensive class. The starting price for the 2015 7 Series was $74,000, with the top trim starting at more than $140,000. But over five years, its value has dropped by nearly three quarters, with an average difference of about $74,000. This is largely due to the fact that the 7 Series was completely redesigned for 2016, with a standard long wheelbase, more trunk space, and new transmission and suspension. Shoppers are likely more willing to pay a little more for the newer model with more upgrades. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz E-Class The 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class was as luxurious and comfortable as you'd expect from a luxury midsize car. It was a finalist for our 2015 Best Upscale Midsize Car for Families Award, as some models had very spacious front and back seats plus the command infotainment system. There were many variations of the E-Class theme, with four body styles and five powertrain choices plus three AMG-tuned models. But the cost to own the E-Class over five years is far higher than average for the class. Thanks to all these configurations, the starting price ranges from $51,800 to $103,200. Being a luxury car that's subject to steep depreciation means that the E-Class sees an average 69% drop in value over five years. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if you agree with the points I made in the video. If you want to see more videos like this, press the bell icon and don't forget to like and subscribe.